Okay, I'm creating this uh, video just to guide you with how to um, edit those pages that you mentioned. Uh, so again, you do it with the UX Builder. We're going into booklets and brochures. We're going to um, catalogs and booklets. Short run. And um, we've managed to unscramble um, the code in pages we found. Only four of them, two of them are missing. Um, so we've duplicated it for you. Uh, so we're going to do a DL portraits. Uh, and the way to do this is you can edit this area and you can edit this area here. This area, as I've mentioned to you a few times, it's built in code. I don't even know how to change this, but I'm getting done. I'm here to create the um, video to show you. It's built in code. You'll need to go into back ends of the site, from what I understand, to make these changes. Uh, now, when the video is made, showing you how to make these changes, if anything's broken, we will be charging extra to fix code breaks. We were doing our best to recreate the original site, the old site. This site is working far better performance-wise. Google's still re-ranking and re-caching a lot of the gallery items because names have changed. The code is different in the site, so it's being re-ranked, re-cached, and it's, it's performing better than the old site and will only get better every single day from here on. It'll take at least another couple of months for everything. What it happens is, for example, yearbook printing, when it came on the live on the search engine, it was on page six. Then it jumped to page three. Now it's on page two, sitting at about position 13. It's just a matter of time before it's on page one. So they're all moving up, and they're all moving up to page one. There's, uh, every time Google caches your site, it will keep ranking and re-ranking and re-ranking and repositioning and moving it to page one. It's not an overnight process. It's not a quick fix. It's, it's patience is required there. So this is a coded area. This area, I believe, will be quite complicated, uh, and you need to do it very carefully. Uh, Again, I'm just waiting. I remember him showing me via a Skype call the complexity of it. There was a lot of code involved and he will be making the video to demonstrate to you the work involved in this section. It had to be manually created for each and every page and that's, that, that was tons and tons and tons of work. So you just go into Edit with UX Builder You click on text, open text editor, and then you can start editing the content here. Same here. You can open editor, change the content here. If you want to duplicate this banner, I would say duplicate. Move the banner above here, and you have it copied into here. And you can change the title. So in this case, we'll call it, um, it's all related to DL Catalogues and Booklets Short Run Portrait. Or even this one. I'd copy that and place it into here. Heading three, short run printing, DL booklet stapled. DL booklet. I'll just leave it as DL booklet for now. Apply, update. 
So um, again, if you want to make a change in this section, this is all hyperlinked. So if you wanted to change, say, um, booklets to brochures, just change the word per se. And copy the URL. It would be a good idea to have open link in a new tab at all times. So it's just a matter of going through each and every one of them. Editing, go to the cog icon, open new link. So this needs to be manually done in each case. Again, um, everything's been created to complement um, the old site functionalities but into this new code that's working and will continue to work very well with uh, Google. Apply, update to save. Uh, now it appears there is one broken there so we just need to fix that. There we go. Okay, apply, update and that fixes that uh, vertical navigational bar. So um, now this is a text area. You can go into that, click on that button, open um, editor so that shows you the buttons. So you're welcome to again go into there. They're all selected which is good so they'll open up in uh, new windows as a double check. Uh, so you're welcome to change a word in here if you wish. Uh, just be mindful that if you put too many in there's a good chance it'll break out of that and it'll start to go um, pear-shaped if it breaks into two lines. So I'll update that. So that's an image that you have, sidebar widget. Sidebar widget, widget area. So these are all yeah, widget areas to work in which are different. So you can go into options, sidebar. So widget areas are generally accessed here. Again, be very careful with it because once you start playing with the widget areas, there's a good chance you can easily break it. Once again, anything that's broken on the site that's already done and working fine will be charged as extra because the developer will need to be pulled in to fix it. This is for, applies for all projects with all clients. It's just part of our policy. So that's a custom um, code widget area that's been written here. Custom code widget area which shows the image. So if you wanted to change the image, it needs to be exactly the same size as what's in the media gallery. So you can take a look at it by copying this into a new tab. So if you want to um, change the wording and the graphic, just make sure it's in the exact pixel dimensions. Once it's uploaded to the gallery, you, you, you get the new, the new name and then you place it in here and it will automatically replace it and it should do it for all the pages, just to give you an idea. And um, yep, that's a, quite a bit of custom code there related to possibly the navigational at the bottom. Uh, I'd recommend just leaving that. So that's the, so you can see now where the widget area is and what's involved um, in that. But anyway, uh, going back to this page, to the six panels, you can see now how it's set up. I'm just waiting for it to open up. So again, um, just go into Edit with UX Builder. Wi-Fi 
Spotify is being a bit slow for some reason. Again, if you want to make changes, just um, uh, put in the new content here. You can change the text here, open text editor, so that's easy enough. Um, if you want to duplicate this banner, cog, duplicate, drag the banner up the top here, so it's there. You may want to copy this and add it into here, paste. So to widen the text box, you click on, you just click onto this arrow, banner, width, there's a width here, and that makes it full width. Apply, update. Uh, so this banner is outside of these elements. So this again is all code as you can see. It's all form related. Uh, and what I'll do is I will delete the text and delete this banner as it's not needed. I've just duplicated it here. Update. Cross to get out of UX Builder so you can see the page as it would be live. You can see I've removed that um, row that was unnecessary there, but I didn't um, I did not damage the buttons. I did not damage this area. And that's the duplicated um, header we've put in so you can see how to set that up. This is all the widget area. This can be fixed manually, so we'll go into Edit with UX Builder. Again, be careful with it because um, as much as you can fix it, it can also be damaged. Click onto that, it's a text field, Open Text Editor. What I'll do is just go back, return, and that brings that in. But you'll need to go into each and every one of these, go into the cog, open the link. So there's a good six pages there um, that you'll need to manually go through and set these up. It's always good to open in a new link. Um, it shows Google that people are staying on your site longer and most people probably won't realize they have one of your uh, tabs open as they start to travel through the site looking for the various products um, they're interested in having a quote on. Okay, so that's all fixed. Okay, apply. As you can see, it's fixed here. So this is, um, Dana may set up the CSS st style sheets specifically for this area, for that to work. So it complements the way the original site was, update. And I'll cross out of that. There you go, so you can see what this looks like. So it's starting to shape up. So it does need um, work. Uh, at, at present, I cannot show you how to work this area until he creates the detailed video um, showing you how we set up this section. And then we can see the complexity involved to try and get to these um, prices because there's a lot of complexity for each of these it's coded for instruction to bring up the new table, 12 page. It brings up the 12 page table. We can go to the 8 page table, automatically brings up the 8 page table. And these order nows are manually created to link to their very own thank you page. So you can see the information here. So if we go back and go onto 24 pages, 24 pages, order now, they have their very own landing pages. All of this is in the site with how it's been coded. Um, so it's a very intricate part of the site, this center section of each and every page. And there have been an incredible amount of hours that is placed into it, manually creating it and setting it up to ensure it all works. So 
that way you can better understand um, these pages and uh, how to what you can edit and uh, what cannot be accessed at present. Thank you for watching.